our ability to take on these types of cases is just, it's not what it once was. We can't do it. We do do it because it's our job, but it's, it's, it's getting old when every single person that rolls through the door, it's like, yep, unvaccinated again, shocker. I'll tell you right now in Nebraska medicine, we're so strapped. We, we really don't take anybody from outside hospitals, um, even if they're in dire needs, because <clears throat> we know it's going to, we're at the point where it's going to profoundly negatively impact the people we already have. And so it's making it really hard to take care of Nebraska for non-COVID patients too. This isn't just about COVID. It's just, it's just crushing our healthcare systems. With Nebraska medicine's capacity being at its, at its very max um, and then not able to even accommodate further transfers, our transfer requests have gone up and we are declining also now. You know, we used to be kind of a, we, we used to be able to handle and accept most patients from across the state. But we're also now starting to turn away numerous COVID patients uh, or for other medical reasons um, that are unrelated to COVID um, because we just don't have the beds or the patient or the staff to take care of them. The other day I was just looking at my, you know, ICU um, census, you know, and uh, I was kind of amazed to see that 75% of the patients that I was seeing in the ICU um, that were in my ICU were COVID patients. And of those patients, um, 50% of them were younger than age 60. You know, over the last couple months, um, I've been seeing more and more 30 year olds, 40 year olds, you know, um, that are coming to the ICU severely ill with COVID-19. And these are patients that um, have minimal medical problems or, or, or no, even some that have, have no medical problems. But we're seeing unvaccinated. That's the bottom line. So by definition, we're seeing some more young people, but it's because they're not vaccinated. I feel like if I say it one more time, maybe they'll all get vaccinated, but we all know that's not going to happen. I hope so, but sorry to be the pessimist, but man, if you haven't gotten the message yet, it's, it's looking bleak for all of us. So whatever you can do to convince your friend to get vaccinated, do it.